hello friends welcome to my channel go digit well uh, today's video will be a little bit different because here uh, we will not uh, see any available processes of the business central but here we look more at the technical side of the business central and as we know that uh, the technical part of the business central is handled by the a language under visual studio code okay so uh, this is the visual studio code which i have already opened up and today i have a uh, i would like to give you one uh, or should i say that i would like to give you one information regarding the snippets okay we all are aware with the snippets and mostly if we are doing the development in the business central then we use this feature a lot for example if we want to create uh, a new table or the new table extension so uh, we can rather than typing the complete code by ourselves we can make the use of the snippet or the default snippet which comes uh, with the AL extension so let's say what I do is uh, I use this snippet e table ext and when I click on this it will create automatically a table extension structure for me okay so uh, this means that rather than I should type each and every line of code by myself it increases the productivity and uh, default by default it makes a structure it makes a structure and provide it to me so that I can now start typing whatever required or whatever my requirement is so in the same fashion uh, for example I was just thinking about that is there any way through which uh, we can also create our custom snippet in the Visual Studio code because as we know this is the snippet which is default available in the AL extension so now uh, I have just learned this feature where we have uh, or we have the flexibility to create the our own custom snippets by ourselves and as you can see this is the documentation part which we generally do uh, while uh, doing any sort of development we put the comments over there so that who is the developer and on which date they do any sort of uh, changes or the creation of particular object so documentation is very much important right so uh, as you know that all these lines I have just created manually but in case I want the, these lines to be created automatically by just typing one shortcut then it will be very beneficial for the developers right so uh, by default visual studio provides us this flexibility where we can create our own custom snippets so let's see how we can do the same so what we have to do is that we just go to the file go to the preferences and select here user snippets so uh, here it is giving us uh, all these options uh, based on the multiple extensions which you have installed in the Visual Studio code but we are more specifically looking forward for the AL language so here I will click this option which is AL okay so when I select this system will automatically knows that I am creating a snippet for the AL extension alright so uh, here we have to write the own or uh, we have to write the code which we want to use in our documentation okay so the syntax will goes like this place the places here the first line will be the heading part so let's say I can write here create my create my custom snippet okay put the colon here and just press tab so it again places some braces now the main thing actually start from here so just press control space and here you have a list of the available parameters the first parameter which we will use is prefix okay 
so prefix means that what exactly you want to type while a system or the visual studio code will suggest you or will suggest your snippet okay so just like uh, we use uh, we type t table t table ext and system suggest us that a particular snippet so here i will type t comment custom okay so now when i start typing t c o m m it will suggest me that this snippet is available and you can use it okay so this is my syntax here or this is the name of uh, my snippet just uh, put the comma press enter now press again control space and now the second most important part or the parameter which is body okay so here based on your requirement whatever you want to type you can use all those information in this body parameter so i just want to use multiple values based on these kind of comments that i want to use this line then second line then third then fourth then fifth so to do that let me place this big bracket here and press enter and now under these double quotes start typing your requirement okay so the first line which i want in my comments are this one and let's say the star and that's it now press comma and again use double quotes and now type name and here rather than typing the name of uh, yours because obviously you you are not the only developer in your company so based on multi the requirement of multiple developers you can rather than type the or hard code the name of particular developer we have some placeholders here or you can say the uh, let me type here we can press us or uh, sorry we we can press the sign of dollar and then place this and like this so this means that user can type any particular value in this name column now press comma now second column will be or second name i would uh, type here as date and then colon and then again press dollar and parameter 2 okay and then press comma and then any remarks like this dollar three and so on based on the multiple values which you want to use in your code you can increase that number accordingly now that's it let me press comma again now the last line which i want to use here is this okay and close the brackets press the and add the comma now the less the last thing is description in the description you can mention uh, like uh, standard or i would type here a custom comment snippet so that in any case if anybody wants to see they can directly check and understand the description uh, by reading the description that what exactly this code uh, is doing okay so that's it my code is completed and i have uh, just finished up writing my first custom snippet okay so now the next part is we have to save this so go to the file press auto save okay like this one now just close this file and let me delete everything here now 
when any time when you add any new file which is pertained to the dot al file then in that file when you start typing t comment and see your custom snippet is showing here or available just click on it and you can see automatically that complete line is available and you don't need to write manually every time for every file all these lines again and again now let's see the use of that dollar and one and two and three so for example in the name the cursor is automatically available because uh, I have placed one there uh, with that dollar so this means that that is the first place where the cursor will be available to you okay so let's say I will type here as go digit and now as soon as you click or press the tab button it will place your cursor in the date this is actually the use of that dollar one dollar two and dollar three okay so this means that system will uh, place the cursor only in the required portion where you actually will type okay and today's date is 03rd april 2021 and then again press tab and now it the cursor uh, comes on the remarks caption and here I will type my first AL program and that's it my first custom snippet is completed and see this is the benefit of using snippet and you don't need to write manually every line so that's what I want to show you through this video. I hope you now understand the concept of uh, custom snippets and how to create your own custom snippet. So thanks for watching this video guys and please go ahead and start uh, creating your own custom snippets and happy learning. Thank you so much for watching the video.